We do recording more often, he said. It'll be easy, he said. Well, I'll get right back to it, he said. <coughs> My ass, it'll be easy. So yeah, once again, it's it's been a rant, Lauren. <coughs> yeah, I'm already stumbling all over my words. So yeah, once again, it's been over a month. Thank you very much, me. Well done, 10 points since I last recorded. And these chickens are just going absolutely nuts down here. Look at, this, look at them. They're still in there. I don't know why they get in there. And in there. That one is so... I don't know, I think that's... I don't know what that guy's doing. That guy's taking a dump. I think these guys... Yeah, these guys are guys. That, that must be like the... Ma I think this over here is like the Mafia. And all of these are his bodyguards. And then these are sort of like the... the outsiders, the rebels. And they are... I don't know. I think the children will be... Oh, but I think, yeah, see, that is here. I see, yeah, two hitmen. They're going for this guy, like, yeah, push him in the corner. Because I'm looking now, of course, and I can't do anything. But the moment I turn away, they're gonna kill him. So let's try to avoid having a massive. See, look at that. They're already going crazy over there now. Good God, fucking bloodthirsty beasts. Yeah. So it's been around a month since I last recorded Pantheon, and I'll be honest, I actually. I actually really wanted to do some more stock of two, as I sat down right now. I'll admit that I actually really wanted to do that. Um, yeah, regeneration potions. I'll get to that. I'll get to that in a minute. But I felt that see, I've kind of split because, on one hand, I wanted to do more stock of two because it's fun and I had a, I had a great time last time I did it. And I don't know if anyone liked it, but. I got a little bit of feedback from someone and, you know, they liked it, they said that they, all the videos are pretty good, so I was like, yeah, alright, maybe we can do more of that. But on the other hand, I also want to finish, well, continue this, because, you know, this series was the year before, and it's actually an ongoing series. And once again, I'm flailing my arms around as if you can see them, which you can't, so it doesn't really matter. I don't even know why I'm doing it, and there's a spider somewhere out here, and I'm really pronouncing my words right now, because that makes me angry. Now that means that I mean it. You know, if you pronounce your words like like this, that means that yeah, that word is just you mean that word so much more than all the others. Like oh yeah, that one word, <laughs> it's on now, son. Um, what was I talking about again? Oh, you're right. No, my no, 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 um, yeah. So so the entire why am I flinging my arm around? Stop it! Stop it! Okay, so see that's the problem with this game. I only need not one hand when I'm moving around. I have right now. I'm not touching the mouse. So my right hand can do whatever the fuck it wants. It can sort of flail around um, if it wants to, which, is, which it suddenly does. Uh, always, because it's a fucking idiot hand, I guess. It just sort of flails around and does whatever it wants. It's a rebel hand. Let's beat the chickens while we're here. They just don't give a fuck, do they? Look at them. Can't even get to that guy in the. But you guys are not having any sex if you're sitting there. Uh, uh, uh. If you want a sex, you come out here to hurt me. If you want sexy fun time, get out here. No? Well, fuck you. No reaction for you guys. Oh, that guy wants them. Anyone else? No? Oh, you're too young for it. Let's get up here. Alright, so as I was saying before we got interrupted by chicken Viagra and sad puppy noises, apparently. Mm, yeah, so I wanted to do Stock of Two, but I also wanted to do this. So my logic was that since it has been a while since I did this, like a month. And this is actually an, a series, you know, an ongoing series, and not just something I do randomly if I want to feel like it. I figured that, you know, this sort of, you know, went, hey, you should probably do me first. And I was like, oh, I'll get to you in a minute, lady. And then I realized, oh, wait, you're just a game, you know, like the lady. And then I packed my dirty mind away, and I went, all right, I'll get to you now. And lo and behold, here we are, Minecraft, and the doors clear open. And again, I swear to God, again, five minutes ago, I was perfectly fine. Now? Sniffles. Just... Why? Every time, I swear! And where's the cat? I can hear the cat. Where is it? Yeah, the dog is there. Where the fuck is the cat? I can hear you. Where is the... Is it up here? Where the fuck is the cat? I haven't moved it. At least I don't think I have. I don't remember moving it. Is it down here? No, there's two spiders down here though. Uh, a skeleton and an enderman. Where the fuck is the cat? I can hear him. Is he? He's not up here, is he? That wouldn't make any. That wouldn't make any fucking sense. Why he would be up here? 
Are you actually a kitty? This is like the hunt for the kitty. Yeah, that's all the episode is gonna be. We're just gonna chase my kitty down. Where the fuck it's hiding? Where are you? You here? It's pretty dark up here. Look at the torch. No. Where the hell is the cat? I probably walked by it a few times and I don't even realize it, but... I don't know what the fuck it is. It's kind of strange. You'd imagine that it would just be chilling around in here. Yeah, there we go. Dog, yes. Kitty? No. He's not under the floor, is he? Oh. Are you under the floor, kitty? Is that where you're hiding? No. Well, he, he is not named, so you'd imagine that his name would sort of stick out and be like, Hey, look at me, I'm over here. But... I'm not seeing it. Where the hell is he? Okay, seriously, what the fuck? Where is the mystery kitty? Yeah, he's inside, because out, out here the volume is really low. He must be in here somewhere. Where are you? I have no fucking clue. Am I gonna spend the next 20 minutes just hunting down my cat? He's real, that's what this looks is gonna be. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I will find this mystery vanishing ghost kitty. And then I'll be right back and then we'll actually get on with the episode, you know. The thing we're all here for. Unless you're just watching me chase a cat around, in which case... I think you came to the wrong video, bro. Maybe you didn't. But anyway, I'll find the cat and I'll be right back, so just give me a second. Okay, no, you know what, never mind, I give up, I can't find him. I tore up the floor, I tore up the ceiling, I looked out here, I looked down there, I just... I don't know where he is. I can hear him, but I can't see him anywhere. I think he's fucking haunting me or some shit. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh. This base is haunted, I swear. Disappearing cats, weird blocks, I don't even know anymore. Let's get out of here. This place is fucking terrifying at this point. I don't want to spend any more time here. Let's grab, I don't even I don't need these. I just went to extend them because I had the time. Alright, so anyway, so on with the actual thing that we're here for, or what, that you're here for, I guess. I don't even know why I'm here. I, I, I just came here because I could. Not in that way. Right, so I found a chest on the instant trees, and uh, that would be over there. But I think we'll go check out that out first. Shut up, kitty! I don't even know where you are! You bastard. I ran back to start for stuff, which is lily pads, pants, glow stun, apparently, and redstone. Alright. I made a gla gas grind. This is a gas grinder. Oh, gas, gas grin. I made a gas grin. Room at Fleecy Found Book. Fleecy Found Book. What? Is that a book of his name? To you. In the. Uh, I guess one of these is new. Probably this one. This was, yeah, all the others are called. Yeah, or I guess it's this one. This one? Yeah, I think that's the one. I don't know though. Probably. Else, I'm terribly sorry, I just made you read, read the same book twice. I guess it's Tylo, don't care. Alright. So let's go check out the chest and we can just sort of remove all these because they don't really matter anymore. Right, so let's go check out the chest and see what in, in the world I found. And hopefully, the cat will be back when I return. Seriously, this is fucking creepy, I swear. Ugh. Right, I also made a tree farm in case you couldn't tell, that's a pretty obvious one. Like suddenly there's a tree farm here, like, oh my god! Did I make that? No, it must have spawned in. Oh, herb, derb, derb. Right, let's have a look. If I remember correctly, we just follow the, yeah, torches right here. Cool. And it should be right around up here somewhere. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Yeah, right there, I see it. Dum, da -da -dum, dum, dun, 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 dun. What's this? Too draining. I'm not called draining. I guess it isn't for me then. But I'll take it anyway. Oh, what's in here? God damn it. I was expecting some loot, not 
bug. Alright, the corruption spreads to the northern peaceful land, ruled by yada yada yada. Mm. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. But you know, whatever, whatever, I'll take it, I'll take it. I guess. So I found two books. Cool. Alright, whatever, we'll take it. Well, I guess we don't have much choice now. We just go, I don't want that, I'll take something else. And then trade it in or something. You know? We kind of have to take it, that's just how it goes. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe the cat is back now. Let's have a look. Is Kitty returned home? Or is Kitty still in some random. No, Kitty is still in some random corner of the world, making mewing noises. Getting the fuck out of me. It's a torture. Uh, we should probably go a few more of those. Speaking of Stack of Two, I actually had the most amazing game. Like, I think it was, it was yesterday, probably, at this rate. Where it, it was a 3v3. Um, it was me and two Zergs versus Protoss and two Zerg on, uh, I think it's called... Uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> yes, I think it's called, I don't know what it's called yet. Yeah, I don't know, it's, I don't really know the names. Uh, something, maybe it's, no, it's not, it's not Quarantine Zone. I don't really know what it's called, but it's the one where you start up here, and there's a fortress, and you here, and then you have a gold base in the back, and I'm really terrible at explaining stuff, and this is a fucking mess. But yeah, so we had that, and... Basically, what happened was the enemy team was pre um, arranged, prearranged, basically. So they were probably all in the chat two or something, and they were just full of shit for the entire start of the game. Like they would just, they would be a, be, they were super BM, like all like, oh hi, and when the, you know if, if they flew in with mutilisk, they'd be like, hi there, and attack stuff, and then they'd fuck off, and and that kind of stuff, and they'd be all like, oh why don't you leave, you know, all that kind of rubbish stuff that people normally do in the BM, you know, the standard stuff. And then I think around around uh, midway through the game, um, one of our pl one of my allies drop out of the game. I was like, oh well, fuck me. So suddenly we uh, we, it's two players now against three, and again prearranged team. But then uh, the entire up to this point, the entire game has been uh, down to basically the enemy's mutalisks versus my team's mutalisks, just sort of flailing around, attacking one another. You know, once in a while kissing a little. Like, he goes like, kiss, 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 and then, ooh, fly away. Sort of like, you know, children at school. Just sort of, ooh, don't touch me, don't touch me. That kind of stuff. And I decided that because of all the mutalisks, I was like, I am gonna make widow mines. So I made a whole fuck ton of widow mines and just basically mined up the entire left side of the map. Which was ironically my side, so... Basically that meant that all their attacks, counterattacks, couldn't go go through the left side without taking severe casualties. So whenever they tried to bane Ling and Ling run by and rain over there by accident, they were actually in a world of trouble. And uh, I didn't actually I didn't notice as much during the game, but in the replay after I, and after I talked to that ally that I still have had at that point, he actually said that um, those widow mines made a lot of counterattacks not happen simply because they just got wrecked on the way. Stop shooting me. And yeah, so then my uh, well, one of my allies then dropped out mid-game, which was which kind of sucked. And then so now it was two versus three basically. But one of the enemies, the Protoss, um, seemed he wasn't really building anything of his own. He was he was making salads, uh, like fair, not not really that upgrade. I think they were like maybe one one or something speed lots. That's not really gonna do much. That was that was all he made. I think he was feeding uh, probably red. Since he just spammed units all the fucking time, so... And... <laughs> then we had a... The, not too long after our, my ally left, we had a very big engagement in the middle of the map. Where basically all of our mutalisks and my entire bio army just collided with billions all over the fucking place and it was fucking madness. But we came out of top of it, we killed their entire mutant army and then we just... And, we just, and I was just like, yep, you, you sir, take our own just... Mutalisk can just go do shit with them. And from that point forward, we ex then the red all of a sudden, he started to, instead of going Mutalisks, which you know he had made upgrades for the entire game, he started making Ultralisks, which he had plus one attack for and two armor. And 2 1 or 1 2 Ultralisks aren't really that good against 3 3 Bio with Medivacs. 
So he needs to say that didn't really do all that well. I mean, he did some damage with it, but for the most part, it was kind of like me. Who's shooting me? What? I don't. I'm so confused. I don't see who I'm shooting. What? Please slow down. Am I oh, there you are. Fucking camouflage in the cobwebs. Jeez, that's rude. But yeah, so that, that went on for a while, and then. As he realized that didn't really work, he started mixing in Hydralisks, which he had a few upgrades for because he had gone Roach early on. But it still melted like really badly to my army. Um, and at the entire point, I was just waiting for him to, you know, go infest or something. He knew I did. He's kind of like, that's kind of curious of you, but, you know, whatever you, whatever you say, bro. If you don't want to go infest or then I'm not complaining. Um, but the funny thing is... During this last bit of the game, where we were then the ones winning, the entire team suddenly went very, very quiet. All the BMs seemed to just sort of fly out the window as they realized that, oh wait, we're losing now, we can't be cocky anymore. And... Yeah, and then we just sort of steamrolled them and won, and then of course... Two of them were good sports, and the gg well, one of them, actually, one of them just left, and the other one just right, rode Yola one left, so that's kind of alright. And the third player felt the need to drag out the game for as long as he possibly could by making hatcheries all over the fucking map. Which was just kind of... I don't get it. I mean, that game could have actually been really amazing. And, and it, also, it also... it was. Up until that one point where then just sort of went... The, uh, now you're just ruining it. So yeah. That was kind of sad. It, it, was, a, it was a really bad... Uh, just, Almost depressing ending to an amazing game. That's cool behind me. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, stuff happens, I guess. Still, though, know, it was fun. It was fun regardless, even though there was a lot of BM and shit. Although, I always enjoy beating a BM. It's just so much fun. We're like, when they, in the test out of the game, they're just trash talking you and like, oh my god, you're so noob, herb, 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 herb. And then all of a sudden, they just go completely quiet. You, you're almost tempted to go, wait, aren't you gonna taunt me anymore? Not gonna say hello? Really? What happened? But, nah. I mean, you, you probably should do that, you know. Counter BM. Be deal BM with BM. But I don't know. Then there's the thing that if you do that and you then lose, then the other one looks like a total dick. So, better to just not look like a dick at all and win. So, yeah. With that all being said and done, while I've been blabbling on, blabbling on, while I've been blabbling on about nothing in particular, it seems that we have conquered this area. I remember this place being a lot more, well, fucking swarmy last time I was here. I wonder what happened. Well, apart from creepers everywhere, I guess. Maybe it's just that one area over here that's a fucking nightmare. You know, right here with all these craters in it. I actually don't know. Well, this, oh, look at this, fucking ambush valley right here. This all, oh, this is really dark right here. Oh, oh this chest. Oh, yes. Right, priorities. Get chest. Everything else? Nope. Chest is priority, I say, as I run in the direct opposite direction of the chest. I think I need to rework my priorities list. Yeah, put a torch in that, I'll show him. Yeah, fucking torch. I don't know why I did that, that's kind of stupid. Why do you do that? That's rude. But yeah. So, oh god. That was fun. But the games I had today weren't really that good, um, for the most part, I had, I had, I had like three or so, four or four today, or three of these, or um, none of them were really that good. The first one, the enemies rushed, it was kind of boring. The second one, re-rushed, all the kind of boring. The, no, actually, I had, I had five, yeah, the first one, the enemies rushed, which was, you know, lame. The second one, re-rushed, which was kind of lame. The third one, we got can rushed, which was also kind of lame. The fourth one was a simple-ish normal type game. I mean, it, in theory, it was a normal game, um, but the enemies weren't really that challenging, so we just sort of steamrolled them, and that was kind of me. And the fifth and final game was also sort of in that category. Only there, uh, for the most part, in the start, they tried to do an early push, which failed, and then we just sort of steamrolled them from there. What the hell am I doing? Why am I climbing this? This is all part of my genius strategy. Yeah, oh, you can't reach me, can you? Ah, sucker. What's up here? Nothing. 
Oh, I'm back down, we go. Mm, I don't know, three threes, they have potential to be good, but unfortunately, the reason I played three three instead of four with four is that I found that the majority of the four with four was like at least around 70% or something, maybe like 80 or something ridiculous. At least last time I played, it was just, it was just rushing all the fucking time. Because, you know, the maps were really big, it was kind of meh. And so I found that in 3-3, three, three, the ch rush change was only around, was maybe around 60 or so percent. So, you know, once in a while you get a good game, but for the most part you get rubbish. And it's kind of worth it just sticking around to get those good games, because they really, really can be enjoyable. If you get the right kind of game, and your allies aren't really kind of meh. I also had another game where the, the, my allies weren't really that good, which, you know, which, you know that's fine and all. Well, I'm sure my enemies weren't really that good, which, you know, is fine. Um, but my allies, on the other hand, they didn't really seem to know what they were doing. One of them went for eight gateways on one base. I mean, just, what? Oh, and he was turtling the entire time. I was like, what the hell are you doing, bro? And the other one just played ultra turtle and just sort of sat in his base doing nothing the entire time. So it was basically a one versus three, which is kind of like, what the fuck is going on here? And there was also one where one of my allies kept uh, taking losses to the same DTs like ten times in a row. So you'd imagine that at this point you would have gotten something down against it, you know? I can't keep constantly keep running other than save your ass. <sighs> but oh well. It's worth it for the good games. The bad games, eh. Most, most, the thing I like about it is that most of the bad games, which are the rush games, they're sort of over in maybe 10 minutes or so, maybe 7 minutes if you're luck, lucky. So, you're not really losing much time, and the good games, the ones that are actually worth playing, they last a little bit longer. So if you can just endure a few bad games, you can get a good game and it'll be all fine. Worth it. Why am I not able to get up this waterfall? Why is it close to another there? kind of curious. Okay, but no, enough rambling all about random shit that no one cares about. Let's actually focus on getting this map. Oh, not <laughs> yeah, let's focus on getting this map beat in this one session. Let's go, speed run. No, let's just let's focus on getting this one area beat here with no helmet on. My arm was just breaking left and right. I'm close flying off. I'll be naked in two seconds. I have to send this video then. This video is rated PG-13 for a nude character in a video game. So if there, is, is, if there are any kids watching, you're gonna have to leave in a few minutes, I'm sorry. Because, you know, I'm gonna be nude, my parts are gonna be sticking out all over the place. You don't wanna see that. Not a pleasant sight. But, you know, maybe, maybe you do, actually, I don't know. Maybe that kind of person like, yeah, <laughs> drop the armor, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Or you kind of boy like, dude, put some clothing on. Even though I'm taking all around clothing. I put some armor on. Like kind of de what are you doing over there? Why are you Oh, it's like the caravan, look at this. Three guys all carrying arrows towards me. That's actually that's kinda like, that's kinda generous of you, you know. Like here you go, here's your order, here's your the arrow you ordered. Delivered at your doorstep, basically. It's kinda of adorable. No! No! Yeah, as it's pretty obvious, as you can probably see from the way I'm playing, it has been a long time since I last played Minecraft. It, the last time I played Minecraft was actually... I'm tempted to say it was when I did the last recording, but that's actually a lie. Uh, the last time I played Minecraft was... it was a little long... it's a... a um, I'd say... one or two weeks at this point? But the thing is, that was actually modded Minecraft, so it sort of counts, but it's also in the oh Jesus! Well then, I think he was too sick of my shit. He's like, shut the fuck up! And I'm like, oh, all right, all right, all right, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. All right then. With that all being said and done, let's get a knockback -knock sword. Right, get a power bow, get some arrows, get some. I need stuff on boots. I do need insta heals. Uh, well, you know, you could have been less, less rude about it, you know. Just told me kindly to shut up instead of fucking blowing my face off. That would be greatly appreciated, by the way, for future reference, Creebus. Just saying. That was highly rude.
Oh, there's a spider behind me. So where did I explodify? Oh, probably why there are all the fucking... Did I say white here? Oh, wow. I just can't pronounce anything today. Uh, no, it's not those over there. I think that's not a creeper, that's a piece of... Vine. Oh, 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 I see it. It's right here, right here. Beep, 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 beep. At least it wasn't on a creeper. Get out of here. Occlusion. That's a good thing about water. At least it'll pull all my stuff down here where I can actually see it. Anything else? Anything down here? Yeah, something I do. Now don't explode if I me, please. I need. Oh, hello. I need to live another few years, you know? We all have go. Oh, God! Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Not gonna happen, bro. Just no. He tried. He tried so hard. Ugh. I bet someone can make a song out of that. Oh, my chest piece. <laughs> my chest piece is gone. That's probably, that's probably not the best idea to just stand here in the middle of nowhere, but you know. I'm full of bad ideas. Deal with it. Uh, why is that over here? I guess I'll put that there. Is that it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Alright, so as I was... Oh, no. No, no. And since we have reached the 30 minute mark, mark this is where most people would then go, Oh, that's it for this episode. Oh, God, I'm getting shot by fire. Oh, no. <laughs> Run away.